So, what is going on YouTube, this is Sam from Team Zarex1 here, and today guys, I'm coming at you with another live dual commentary video featuring DDD Dave versus Marcus, and you guys all know both these players on this channel, they both contributed a lot uh, towards this channel, which was absolutely amazing. Uh, Marcus did a bunch of Blue Eyes deck profile, if you guys would remember, uh, on this channel, and also DDD Dave, of course, made a ton of DDD combo videos and DDD deck profiles on this channel, so I just gave a huge shout out to both of these guys for actually coming uh, out to do this live uh, dual video for me and for you guys as well at home so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button for more live dual commentary a lot of you guys have been requesting live dual commentary ever since i posted my very first one so i know that is going to be uh well, you know one of the well done segments on this channel so hopefully you guys just enjoyed this video and we got dd dave uh, on the left and marcus on the right playing metaphors and starting off he goes painful decision uh, right away ditching uh steel to add a steel into hand and looking at dave's hand he has a ragnarok thomas dark contract Contract and a one for one, I believe. Uh, but no, I, I I see double Ragnarok in hand and uh, yeah. And by the way, guys, before I continue this video, I just want to give a huge shout out uh, to the notification squad. If you guys are part of the notification squad, make sure you guys comment in the comment section below hashtag uh, notification squad. I'm here, uh, so I can go down there and like all those comments uh, in the comment section below because you guys are truly amazing. Do you guys ever took in uh, Dave's uh, match? Real honest, best in the world DDD player. And you guys are probably wondering, Sam, why is there a Jake Gyllenhaal on uh, Dave's playmat? If you guys were to see Dave in real life, Dave actually kind of looks like Jake Gyllenhaal. And that's what everybody uh, tells uh, Dave. And uh, Dave didn't actually buy this mat. Dave didn't make this mat. Uh, one of his, uh, one of Dave's friends actually made it for him. So uh, once he, he, like, he made it for him, Dave's just been using this mat ever since. And uh, yeah, so start off, he's just going to go contract, search, uh, Swirl Slime to hand. Swirl Slime, double Ragnarok, Thomas, one for one, and Evani's Emptiness. He's going to go Ragnarok and scale. Okay, so he's just trying, basically trying to play through the back row. At this point, Marcus is breaking. Like, you never usually see Metaphors set three back row and set one and pass. Uh, unless, you know, they all break uh, their search, uh, their searchable spawn trap cards already. Uh, because if he didn't, he would have been popping uh, his scales uh, to get his fusions uh, as fast as possible. So he's going to go Bear Wolf uh, while activating Swirl Slime's effect. And now Ragnarok is going to activate his effect to target the Ragnarok in Grave. Uh, so he can special the, uh, the Ragnarok. Um, yes. So he's special. Ragnarok has 3k defense. And uh, now David just explained to Marcus that Bear Wolf is a heavy storm uh, during his stamina phase. So Marcus is like, nah, never. Full Metal Full Fusion, uh, he's gonna Full Metal Falls. Um, so I'm assuming he has a Metal Full in hand and a Metal Full in the field, of course, a Steelin. And he's gonna bring out the Alkaheist. Alkaheist is actually a very powerful monster against uh, the DD matchup because uh, every like monster on the field that the DD has is uh, an essential combo piece to their combo plays. So if basically Marcus steals one of their combo pieces, their play can essentially be over uh, depending on the cards that Dave has in his hand. He does have a one for one. Uh, uh, in hand as well, so he can basically extend his combo play at this point. Um, uh, so let's see what Dave will do. Um, let's go. Let's see. Marcus has an Alkaheist with uh, Bear Wolf, uh, you know, under uh, its equipped, which is really awesome. He's gonna banish Roll Slime's effect, especially in a Thomas in hand. So he has two level eights now. He's uh, able to make uh, what is it called? He's able to make at this point um, Kaliuga if he were to uh, XP summon. But you know that D barrier though, uh, Marcus is. Flips the D bear. He goes like, nope. I see that Kaliuga. I'm not away, man. I'm not. Uh, I'm not gonna make him go Kaliuga. So he's gonna go D bear. Call exceeds, of course. Uh, and Dave has what is it? Vanny's emptiness and uh, one for one in hand. So can't really do any uh, anything at this point. Um, and Bear Wolf. Uh, no, not Bear Wolf. Alkaheist is at three K defense, which is pretty huge, uh, in my personal opinion. So let's see uh, what Dave is uh, is up to. So now. Uh, um, Thomas, I believe, is going to activate effect uh, pop, to pop the Ragnarok to special summon and low, another level 8 from the deck. Uh, he's special summoned the Armageddon. Wow. Dave is one of the, actually one of the few players that actually play Armageddon in the main deck. Uh, so, yeah. It's actually one of uh, the great combo extender cards where he can actually enable himself to make more rank 8 plays and also apply pressure on board. So, at this point, Dave is going to set the Vanity Emptiness and just pass. So, Marcus is going to draw. Uh, okay. And Marcus doesn't, I believe, doesn't have any, like... Any cards in hand. Uh, he only has one card in hand, and it's only it's the only card that he drew. So let's see uh, what's gonna be happening now. And I believe that set card that uh, Marcus has is uh, what is it called? It's definitely a uh, a counter, a uh, metaphor counter, because um, I don't know. Like it, that's like that's the metaphor break, man. Like it's either it's it's a metaphor fusion or or like a metaphor counter. Like there's there's nothing else that like it it could have been, unless it's a strike. But 
he went to strike a long time ago. Uh, let's see uh, what Marcus has in hand. And right now, he's facing a board of Ragnarok, Thomas, and Armageddon. Pretty big booties on the board right now. But Alkai is just too good, man. Alkai has 3k booty right now, so... Um, because of the bear wolf. And he's just basically act, uh, asking what Armageddon does and what is in Marcus's hand. Um, okay, so what will Marcus do? Is, is, is that card uh, able to be played right now? So he's a little eccentric archery. Wow, pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. He's activated. Oh, that's a pretty hot top deck, man. If that's a counter, that's a pretty hot top deck. He's a target the contract. Um, okay, cool. And then he's gonna. Let's see what he acts. Definitely a counter. I read it right. Uh, counter is, is gonna activate, and Dave is gonna change Vanny's Empty. At this point, oh man, this is when Vanny's Empty is a good card, uh, but if you activate it at the wrong time, um, it's like it's so bad. And right now, uh, Marcus has the Alkais on the field, and he can't really do anything. And then Alkais is gonna steal the Ragnarok. Oh man, because I, I believe that Ragnarok contribute uh, to the uh, like you know banish. Monster on the field, but he just took the the, uh, the Ragnarok. So now Dave is in a stuck in a in a very awkward position because that Alka has a big booty. Uh, what is it called? I believe I believe Ragnarok is twenty three hundred and uh, Bear Wolf is three thousand. Uh, so that means that leaves Alka is at uh, fifty three hundred defense, which is huge. And now Dave is locked under uh, his own Vandy's emptiness. Um, so yeah. So let's see, because probably like Dave forgot that uh, Alka is in steal per turn uh, because that's how broken Alka is. Uh, the only way they can beat this board right now is MST himself, like MST and Vanny's Emptiness himself, but he, he doesn't have that. He somehow needs to get rid of that Vanny's Emptiness, but it's going to be impossible because that Alkai will never be in attack mode, it'll be in defense mode at all times. So now Dave's just going to pass, like he has nothing else to do. Um, and then now Alkai can just keep stealing his monster, like, why can just be like, pass, like, pass, 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 pass. And he just keeps stealing Thomas uh, and like the Armageddon. Man, it's gonna be pretty funny if, if if Marcus were to end up doing that. And you know what? That's how powerful dimensional barriers, as you guys can see right now, the barrier is just very, very powerful. It's like basically against decks like Zodiacs or like maybe DDDs, depending if you don't have combo or not. And you activate the barrier, your the turn is done. Like your like your turn is basically done. Like you know what I mean? And uh, Armageddon is uh, what is it? Uh, defense, I believe. Let me search up Armageddon's defense. Uh, DDD Armageddon. Uh, I believe that Dave should have kept it in attack mode in my personal opinion. Uh, I don't think he should have kept it in defense for some reason. Uh, wow, that's just a free, free beat, beat stick, man. And uh, yeah, it's it's not it's it it, it wasn't a good uh, a good play on Dave in my personal opinion to keep Armageddon in defense. Um, yeah, because you know if he keeps it in defense, he can just run over it with Gold Driver. And yeah, and then he can, Dave could have potentially run, ran over a monster to basically unlock him from uh, what's it called? Unlock him from uh, his old Vanny's emptiness right now. Now at this point, like emptiness is just hurting him, so it sucks. All right, so let's get started. So Vanny's emptiness, man, powerful card, but he can destroy you. And that gold driver is pretty beefy, man. Nineteen hundred attack is pretty huge. Um, okay, so this is. Probably one of the biggest booty, uh, uh, what is it called, um, Alka i actually ever seen right now. Uh, with Ragnarok, Thomas, and a Bear Wolf. Um, and he's an attack for 19, leaving Dave at 6,100 life points. Uh, to Marcus is 8,000. Uh, let's see, he's going to draw for turn. Uh, what is it? Let's see. Uh, he has a Armageddon and a Ragnarok in the Pendulum uh, Extra Deck. Not in the Pendulum Extra Deck, in the Extra Deck zone, sorry. Uh, let's see, he has a Necro Slime, Ragnarok, 1 for 1, and... Uh, uh, Thomas. So if that Vanny's emptiness wasn't on the field, I'm pretty sure that Dave could have been really lit right now. Uh, I, you know, basically, I think one for one Necro Slime uh, with Lamia. I, uh, I'm not too good with DDDs, guys. That's why I haven't been playing like you know the decks like DDDs because that's Dave's job. I love playing decks like you know Paleos or like you know Zoos or like you know. <laughs> I'm just, I'm not really good with like combo based decks like DDD, so that's why a lot of you guys have been asking me why I don't do DDD deck profiles. It's because DDD Dave is part of the channel, and you know he is great with DDDs with combos and how the deck works. But he's just stuck in an awkward position right now uh, because of that Vanny's emptiness. So he's just having Necro Slime, okay? At this point, like he's gonna attempt to attack into the Gold Driver, and uh, Mark is just like, what the hell? Why is he attacking to the Gold Driver? And then he realizes, oh. Okay, he's trying to get rid of that freaking Vanny's emptiness. Uh, yeah, it does nothing. He's just like, yeah, nah, yeah, it does nothing in Grave. And Marcus is going to realize, oh, yo, he's trying to get rid of his own emptiness. 
Nope, steal it. Yep. Look at that. Holy moly. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, guys, guys. Look at that. I, um, the attack is... The defense is huge. So if he activates shooting sword right now, activate shooting sword like the way that Joey would activate it, attack for a game, that would be really hilarious if uh, Marcus actually has that. But you know what? Shooting sword is such an you know, old school card. I don't believe that anybody plays it in the main right now. So, of course, no one plays it in the main. And then uh, Jesse goes like, yep, shooting sword. You know what I mean? Attack for game. Okay. This is too huge, man. One of the biggest Alka has actually ever seen. Um, and he has a gold driver. And he just basically kept keep, keep poking the gold driver. Because that item that is literally making him lose. So, there's nothing really that Dave can do. Uh, if Dave draws cards like Allure of Darkness, maybe he can be released uh, out of uh, the Vanity's Emptiness. Uh, but he's unfortunately not drawing that. Maybe Pot Desires would actually be really hot right now for Dave. Uh, but Vanity's Emptiness is just literally stopping him from going off. Uh, Twin Twister would be good too. Twin Twister, his own slime, and Beowulf, uh, you know, hitting the Vanity's Emptiness, getting your slime back in the grave is pretty amazing. Um, so let's see uh, what's going to be happening now. Okay, so he's going to attack for another 19, leaving Dave at 4,200 to Marcus' 8,000. And this is a pretty huge, this is this is a pretty huge, um, you know, not guys in my personal opinion. Okay, so Dave draws, what does Dave draw? He still has the same cards in hand, but we have the one new unknown that uh, that he drew. Okay, so he's going to normal summon the Necro Slime again. Attempt to attack the Gold Driver. Mark is like, nope, I'm going to steal that again with Alkaheist. Look at that, double Necro Slime. Beowulf, Ragnarok, Diddy save it. Thomas. Oh, man. Oh man, I believe this is like 7,000 something on the board. Uh, 7,000 defense on Alkaiz. And then he just be like, pass. And now, uh, Marcus has a Vanity's Emptiness in hand as well. And he has a Bambuku. So, uh, it's, it's pretty much over from here. I'm pretty sure Dave uh, can't really do anything uh, to this. Because now Kieran is coming out. He has a counter in the graveyard. Gives him, an, uh, you know, as, as accessible to another scale in the extra deck. Which is really, really awesome. Uh, so, yeah. Man, 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 that D barrier though. And all this was the cause of one dimensional barrier, guys. One dimensional barrier. Uh, remember that. Like, it's so powerful, man. It's like literally a cold wave for decks that literally just has one summoning mechanic. So that's why, like, decks nowadays, like, such as Invoke Zoo or, like, you know, Invoked Artifact Wind Witch are really good because they have at least two summoning mechanics. So they will be like, you know, if they're synchro and then, you know, you'll call, uh, you know, synchros of Vanity's Emptiness. And then, like, if you, you know, fusion, you know, you can call, you know, D-Bear, uh, you know, with fusion. No, no, I I said Vanity's Emptiness for some reason. No, I'm, I'm at D-Bear. But, you know what I mean? But if they call fusion, and, you know, you're able to go into synchros. And if you're playing, you know, Invoke to Zoo, you're basically, you know, having two summoning mechanics. So if they call Xyz... Okay, you go into fusion, like you know what I mean. So decks that have two summoning mechanics right now are very, very powerful because uh, they have a better matchup against dimensional Mary, in my personal opinion. So that's why a lot of people are switching to like Invoke Artifact Zoo or like or like you know Invoke Zoo, and that's Dave's hand right there, locked by the Vanity's Emptiness, uh, which sucks. So Marcus is gonna take it uh, game one, I believe. Yes, definitely Marcus is gonna take it game one. Um, with really I'm gold driver uh, on the board and that's that's like that's already game like you know what I mean like that's that's already uh, yeah there's nothing that he can do um so yeah okay he's gonna draw one card off the metaphor fusion uh, and he's gonna go Kieran scale bambuku eccentric and he's gonna attack for game attack for game boom boom leaving Dave at zero uh, Dave just shows him his hand and yeah he's the man he's empty this man that just legit killed him. Actually, it's the D bear that killed him, man. Let's go out to game two. And this game two is with siding, guys. So Dave is going to open up anti spell. Okay. Anti spell. Okay. Okay. We might know it's a wrap up for this duel. Anti spell is too good. Okay. So let's go. He's going to go foolish burial. Uh, what is he going to foolish uh, to the graveyard? Ooh, the swirl slime. Okay. The grave. And it's, uh, the foolish swirl slime. Okay. He's going to go set that in this. Actually, swirl. Special summon. Level 8 in hand. Uh, yeah, Thomas, and then he's gonna activate uh, Armageddon Scale, Pop, Special Summon, another level 8 from the deck, Ragnarok, and Titanic Galaxy with, you know, with Antiswell Fragons is pretty good! Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, so he's gonna uh, summon Kepler, okay, summon Kepler, and he's gonna add a contract import. Activate contract effect to search. What, what is contract gonna search? What is he gonna search? Okay. At this point, what is what can Dave do in this situation, guys? I'm not really good DDD player, guys. In, in, <laughs> so um, now all I know is that he can go to the galaxy. Uh, you know, basically. Oh, Orthos is really good as well because Orthos can. Um, what is it? Pop scales. You know, when he can pop back row as well. 
Uh, it's essentially like a, like, like a, what's called, essentially Arch Fiend for the DDs, which is really awesome. So, what is Dave going to be searching? Okay. Um, let's see. And we don't know, we don't know, we do not know what Marcus has in hand, but Dave is going to be searching a Scroll Slime. Contract is so good because it's literally like a plus one every single turn. You know what I mean? It's, it's so broken. You go, you go to Titanic Galaxy. Okay. Except <laughs> that he's empty this pass. Not bad he's empty this Antes before he gets passed. Okay. Drop a turn. What is Marcus' hand? Okay, flip that is emptiness. Great. Okay, and you know what? This is when uh, La uh, Lava Golem was actually very popular during the DD format because of, uh, you know, the amount of board patterns that DDs are able to make first turn, like, you know, Sync Free, Crystal Link, and yep, there we go. We see a La Lava Golem. Uh, but, you know, I feel like, you know, as DD players, like, maybe you guys should play around Lava Golem, but, you know, Dave did not know that Marcus was signed Lava Golem in Metal Hold, so... But Dave still gets a level 8 beater, a level 8 beater, 3,000 beater. Uh, and Dave will take a thousand, 2,000, okay, so that's my uh, that's my fault. Uh, that's my fault for doing the life wrong. So he would definitely take another uh, 1,000. Um, what's it called? Off uh, the, the, the Lava Golem right there. Um, so leaving Dave, I believe, um, at 6,000 life points. Yeah, but he has a level 8 on the board, which can, you know, help him make another rank 8 play like Taliuga. Uh, so Lava Golem cannot be normal summoned or set must first piece special summon uh, to your opponent's side of the field by tributing two monsters they control. You cannot normal summon or set to turn your special summon this card during each of your stand oh each of your standby phase. Each of Marcus's standby phase. Okay. So take a thousand. So Dave's at his, uh seven thousand right now. Uh yes. He's at seven thousand and he's gonna take another thousand on, 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 on Marcus's turn. Uh, he's gonna banish source line. No no no. No, he's gonna actually contract effect to search. Okay, search in Lamia. Lamia is too good. Such a Lamia. What is David be searching? And Marcus is trying to look at his top deck. What is he going to draw, man? So he's going to go Necro Slime. Uh, and Miracle Fusion. Really, really good. And here's, you know, okay. Cool. Activate Necro Slime. Wow. <laughs> okay. Cool, cool, cool. I believe Dave drew uh, another Scroll Slime per turn. But he made a Lamia, like, that would have been super lit. Okay. That's already, that's 28, 3,058. That's already game. Oh no, uh, Marcus, oh, Dave is under max C. Okay, so that's already game. Yeah, 3-3-2, three, three, that's game. Yeah, he summons Rolls Time just for the sexy damage. Boom. So Dave ends up OTK Marcus in game two, and now let's go off to game number three. And by the way, guys, these are already pre-sided. Like, you know, I just cut it out because, uh, you know, for the uh, purpose of the video, for, uh, for the time sake of this video, uh, you know what I mean? So, yes. So, Dave did open up Lava Golem, you know, just in case Metaphors basically make a first turn, um, Thrillium, or maybe an Alkai's. He'd easily just get rid of that ASAP right away. And um, the hand that he has is double contract, double Ragnarok, and, uh, you know, a Lava Golem. Dave was like, what WTF is this, man? Like, it's, it's super brick. Um, draw two. Dave just showing us his hand, guys. <laughs> Dave was like, can I, Sam, can I, Sam, can I show them my hand, please? Oh, Marcus's hand is super lit, man. Like, Marcus is actually lit. Like, he has the Danny's hand in his scales. Like, he has... Oh, my God. A lot of things that Marcus can do uh, at this point. So, can we see Marcus beating the DD Dave? Uh, and can we see DD Dave, uh, you know, first loss on the channel? Because a lot of... Uh, you know, D Dave's been on the channel doing duels for quite some time. I believe he has three duels on the channel. If you guys want to see that, make sure you guys check out my channel. Uh, so he has three duels on the channel and he and he's been winning all of them. Uh, but now, uh, who knows who will win, Marcus or Diddy Dave? And these guys are really good friends uh, of each other, by the way, guys. So you know we both go to the same locals, we play test together. We're basically boys, you know. So let's just take a, a, a fun local match uh, to showcase you guys Diddy's versus Metaphors. A lot of you guys just love Diddy Dave a lot, so I was like, you know what, Diddy? I was like, yo, Dave, they, they need to see more of you in the channel, man. So I was like, yo, Dave, get on the camera, man. Get on the camera and let's do this. And he and, and and he loves it. So, you know what I mean. So, like, huge shout out to D Dave and both Marcus for participating in this duel for the uh, Team Samurai X One channel. And I really appreciate them a lot for doing that. And I appreciate a lot of you guys as well for you know joining uh, every single fr Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, and just basically watching my videos every single week. And you know, for all of you my biggest fans out there, I love you guys so much. You guys are really really awesome. And just stay tuned for more content, guys. I have more videos coming up for the channel, and it's just really tough for me right now because I am in school. Uh, you know, what I mean, I am a student. I am in university, and you know, school is it's tough. You know what I mean? So at this point, you know, 
if he's playing Zodiac Metaphors, he can overlay for Invoker and just basically just make it unstoppable war right now. But this is not a Zodiac format. This is just pure Metaphors versus DDDs. This is when DDDs first came out, okay? So there will be no uh, no Zodiacs. And, and let me just repeat uh, that for you guys again. So he's going to go first turn out, guys. You know what I mean? Uh, really, really powerful uh, with the Metaphor Fusion. If, you know, Marcus summons another monster, Dave can just basically lava golem it and proceed to go off. Uh, but let's see if Mark is going to do that. He's going to pop the business gear up. I'm, I'm assuming he's not going to summon uh, another monster, of course. There's no need to. I search a metaphor fusion again. Okay, what's going to happen now? Uh, is he going to fusion summon into another monster? Okay. Search into a metaphor fusion. Sets back will pass. Sets Banny's Emptiness. I believe he has a Banny's Emptiness. Yeah, sets to pass. Man, that if only if he summons one more monster. That would be pretty hot. Hmm. Hey, what's gonna be happening now? And Chalice is just so good this format. It's just again situation like out guys. Chalice is just really, really powerful card uh, during this format right now. It's so strong. Chalice is just way too strong. So let's see. He's going to uh, okay search. What is he searching after this phase? Okay, okay. Let's see what he's searching. What is Marcus gonna search? Okay, the gold driver. He's, having, he's searching the gold driver. Showing to Dave. Okay, cut. Okay, he has a metaphor fusion face down and two cards unknown uh, to DD Dave, but you see what Dave draws. Oh, what does Dave draw? What is that? Oh, he draws an anti spell, but that doesn't really matter at this point. Um, because he has a metaphor fusion set, so it, it doesn't really matter. Because anti. Because, like, if Antispo is flipped too late, uh, what you, you guys know what I mean. Mithrilium is such a card that is just so powerful against that card. Um, yeah, so you just flip. He'll, he can just easily flip, uh, what is it called? Um, that Antispo, he'll flip the Metaphor Fusion, act from Mithrilium's effect, bounce it back to your hand, and then, like, you're literally, you're literally backed up a turn because of Mithrilium's effect. Mithrilium is just so powerful in Metaphor. So he's going to go Swirl, Ragnarok. Special summon. No, 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 no. Don't bring up Bear Wolf again, please. Oh, okay. Yep, he's bringing the Bear Wolf. Maybe he's trying to bait. Maybe he's trying to bait out uh, the thing. Yeah, maybe he's trying to bait out uh, the, the Alka Heist. Yeah, he's trying to bait out the Alka Heist. Marcus will be like, yep, I, might steal, I just might steal the Bear Wolf again. Okay. Let's go. Let's, let's just steal the Bear Wolf. Oh, guys, so annoying to deal with. You know what I mean? Like, you know, boards with Alkaheis and, and and Kieran. Guys, I'll tell you guys right now, like, Zodiac is not even that bad. Like, the broken deck of all time is definitely a perform pouch. Like, if you guys haven't played through that format, you guys cannot even say Zodiac is just that broken. The deck is really good. It's consistent. But Pepe was just overall the strongest deck of all time, in my personal opinion. Like, it's just too, too good. He's for the anti Um yeah, but Mithrilium is going to be coming out, so it doesn't really matter if that anti-spell fragrance is it's, it's on the field, so, yeah, let's go. And he has the Bear Wolf equipped, so, if you guys don't know Ragnarok's effect is that if this card is normal summon or special summon, you can target one DDD monster in your graveyard, special summon it, he'll use its effect on DDD Oblivion King, Ragnarok once per turn, once per turn, you can tribute one other DDD monster and target one monster your opponent controls and banish it, okay. So basically, in game one, I believe that Dave could have tribute the Ragnarok to banish the Alkaheis. Because uh, he did have three monsters on the field. He had, a, you know, him, Armageddon, and Thomas. And he, he could have just banished the Alkaheis. So, yeah. And that would have put Dave so ahead. But unless Thomas negates the effect. Yeah. Yeah, I think Thomas negates the effect. Hmm. Yeah, I think Thomas negates the effect. Yeah, Tom yeah, Thomas negates the effect. Let me search it up right here. Let me bring it up. Effects, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, are negated. Okay. Yeah, the effects are negated. So, yep, he goes into Mithrilium. Mithrilium's gonna bounce back that anti-spell, man. 
I believe Mark is trying to go for game. Like, he already had his set skills and everything. He's gonna bounce back the Anti Spell. And let's see if Marcus actually have game this turn against the DD Dave. So, I think this will be it for Dave, man. I, I think that this is gonna be his first loss on the channel. So, that's okay, guys. Uh, okay, uh, let's see. Dave has tons of new deck profiles coming up on the channel, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that uh, as well. So, Marcus has some Thurlium, Alkahize. Um, what is his face down? I believe he has, he has a Gold Driver in scale. I believe he has another card to complete the scale as well. He has a Metal Full Fusion set. Um, I think that's Metal Full Fusion or like Full Metal Full Fusion. I don't really know. But if he has a Full Metal Fusion, it's just it's, it's just overkill. So he's going to pop the Bear Wolf. So Alkai steals monsters, give you access to free pops. Like, that's insane. He's going he's to go Combination. Uh, sets Combination. And let's see what he's up to now. He's going to keep depending on some out cards. Uh, yeah, he's going to go Counter. Yeah, it's... Counter is too good. Okay, so you can go Wolf Flame. Okay. You can go Wolf Flame. So Wolf Flame with Thrillium Outclass on the board is already it's huge, beefy. Um but you know the first game was probably one of the craziest Alkahites I actually ever seen in my entire life. You know what I mean? Big booty Alkahites, man, with five DD monsters in this draw and trap card zone, which is insane. And that's why Marcus wanted uh, this video to be up so bad because he wanted to see that play. because uh, of how powerful Dimensional Barrier is. So, yeah. So, he's going to go Metaphor Fusion, Wolf Flame, and the Alka Heist to Special Summon, uh, the Orhawk. Oh, man. Double Piercing. Too good. Okay, so Double Piercing. Uh, so, our, the Orhawk. And now, he can Pendulum Summon. Yeah, if he has a scaly Pendulum Summon, the uh, the two silvered, yeah. Uh, go into a Break Sword, Pop. And yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I was correct. He has two silvered. Go with double silvers and wolf flame. That's already game. And he has the full metal full fusion. Yep, it's 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 done. It's done for. Unless uh, Dave has a like battle fader, like Dave used to play battle fader by the way. But uh, pretty sure in this new format he doesn't play. So break sword, uh, break sword effect, pop his own combination and Ragnarok. That's pretty good. And you know combination will get the search. That's already overkill right there. That's that's already game. Yeah, that's, that's GG. That's GG for Dave. All right, we're going to see Marcus attack for game, and yeah, and it's going to be a tough loss for the DD Dave. But anyways, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm just going to try to end off this video as quickly as possible because it's, you know, you guys have been here for so long, and I appreciate you guys. And if you guys enjoyed more live dual commentary videos, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. That'll be absolutely amazing, guys. You guys are really awesome. Make sure you guys give this video 500 plus likes to see. the showcase me that you guys actually want to see more live dual videos on this channel. And yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And yeah, this is really awesome, dude, guys. It's Sam from Team Sarah Sam signing out. All right, guys, peace.